Rob, it's, it's the first away game for a little while and it's a long one, isn't it? How are you preparing for this? Same way we always do. No, we've trained this week. We'll uh, train on the way up tomorrow. Uh, obviously, it's a long journey, so we've done it a few times. We'll, we'll, um, we'll train in Birmingham on the way up. And, um, yeah, we've done that on a number of occasions this season and it's, it's gone pretty well. The lads have got used to that and, and been fine. We know it's a long day, but, you know, uh, we have to play everyone home and away. So that's, um, now we're looking forward to it. And does the, the Friday, Monday around Easter weekend slightly change the way you, you approach things or do you just shift your... Nah, just, you just move the week around. So we still work in the same way. We had uh, yesterday off, Tuesday off, and then Wednesday, Thursday, um, obviously travel and, and then play the game Friday. And then the turnaround from Friday to Monday is the same as a Saturday, Tuesday game anyway. So the, um, you know, the working week is different, but in terms of you know, whether it's a recovery day or training days, you, you, know, you, you keep the same... Um, the same programme, really. And only six left to play now. It's really starting to feel a little bit like ticking each one off, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, but look, this now becomes the biggest game of the season and um, and all our focus is on Barrow and that's it. You know, we're aware of what we've got further down the line, but all our focus is just on the next game, the next 45 minutes even, and, um, and we'll try and win that. And have you had the chance or, or even wanted the chance to, to look at the fixtures of teams around you and, and get your calculator out? I don't, well, it's not in our control, is it? You know, so every, leave that to, to everyone else. Um, everyone's fixtures are tough now, whether you're playing someone else at the top or someone who's fighting to avoid relegation or even teams that are, are maybe in the mid table now, you've got players that are playing for contracts and, and maybe, or some of them might be a little bit freer and might be able to play with a little bit less pressure and, and that can bring out the best in some people as well. So, you know, it doesn't really matter who's playing who now. Every game brings its own challenges and, and they're all tough, um, but we can only control what we can control and that's ourselves. And something you can control is the fact that you are sitting at the top with the gap, so it is in your hands, isn't it? And I suppose, is that the situation you want, want to be in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'd rather be in our position than, than anyone else's. You know, we're in a, we, we've, we've worked so hard, the players have worked so hard this season to put ourselves in this position now, going into the final, the final six games. Um, and of course, we want to try and stay there. And um, the next step to doing that is, is trying to win against Barrow. And when it comes to Barrow, obviously they're, they're a side that, that have struggled this season and still have plenty to play for, so you know they're going to be as, as threatening as anyone. Yeah, um, you know, they've had a managerial change. Phil Brown, who's very experienced, has come in as well now, so there, there's a, a managerial change. They've, you know, um, they've got some good players. They've got some good players. They'll be, you know, um, certainly fighting for, for everything right now because you know they're in a position where they, they need to pick up points as well because it's, it's very tight in their situation. Um, but they've been in every game recently. You know, they've had some really tight games and, um, and they're right in them. And I think they've, they've probably maybe not put together a full 90 minutes as yet, but they've been certainly good. I've seen from, from four, for 45 minute spells and, um, and started games very, very well. So we're, aware, we're well aware of what the, the threats that they pose and uh, the challenges that they present. Um, you know, and we can, we can go through that as a group and, and, and train for that as well. But again, it's about what we do and how we play and how we acquit ourselves. And um, if we run hard for each other, if we're really brave. And, and, um, and again, I keep saying at the moment, embrace and enjoy the moment. And, and, and enjoy where we are at the moment, and, um, and hopefully that can bring out the best in us. Then, then of course, um, you know we can, we can win the game. And while you encourage the players to to enjoy the moment, is it important you also remind them to keep their feet on their ground? Yeah, but we've been doing that all season long, and you know that's that's. I don't think we have to remind the players of that. They're a very grounded group, a very humble group. Um, so it's not a case where we're having to, to, to keep the feet on the ground at all. It's just being consistent in the message, being consistent in what we do and how we train and, and how we work. And, and they've done that really well all season long.